Hey guys, I'm Eric Creo, and I wear a green shirt for the Ninja Turtle shirt. Happy St. Patty's Day, and I'm here today to review the film Trolls, which came out in 2016. Here's the plot we have for an origin story when King Bristle loves to ride a bike. And then that is the opening scene, and that is a reference from The Shining which I might watch The Shining when it's 40th anniversary for Halloween time. And then we have uh, King Grizzle's dad named Sire. And they like to take to take an advantage of Trollsis with Chef Bergen. And then when suddenly when all the other trolls, including King Peppy and Princess Poppy. And then they like to find a way when King Peppy says, no troll left behind. And then they like to find a way and then have a good time in Troll Village. And then soon Poppy is all grown up. He liked to sing along with us. And then they meet Branch. And suddenly when Branch is not a good mood because he dislikes singing and they do nothing others. And then when Poppy is here for a party, for the biggest, loudest, and craziest party ever, when Chef Bergen has come, and they like to kidnap all the other trolls. I'm excuse. And then when Poppy want to help with Branch to find a way in the Bergen town. And then when suddenly, when... Poppy takes to sing a song for the new one for every 24-7. And then when Branch wants to help to save Poppy. And then when Poppy is awoke, when Branch wants to take a help case. And then when Poppy sings the sound of silence in the night, when... In the next day, when Poppy and Branch find a way and meet with Cloud Guy, and then when Poppy and Branch finally hear in Bergentown, and then suddenly when all the other friends like Guy Diamond, Fuzzbird, Smidge, DJ Suki, and Biggie and Mr. Dinkles, including Satin and Chenille and Cooper. And then when Chef Bergen tells King Bristle when King Bristle's all grown up, he became Sire Jr. And then when King Bristle wants to eat the trolls, but he can't, he's not allowed to do so. When Poppy and Branch finally meet the trolls to getting out of the cage when Bridget is sad about and then Bridget makes it feel on the other side to make a new hair and a new dress and to meet with King Gristle. When King Gristle want to take a good time to take a date on an arcade place. And then they like to find a way to take a dance and do skating. And then when... King Gristle and Bridget and Chef Bergen talk about the fun things. And then when Queen Bridget, who want to help, that doesn't give up with the trolls. And then when Poppy and Branch want to help to find a way to find Creek. And then suddenly when Poppy and Branch found Creek, and then they got stuck in the cage when Creek is supposed to be here, when it turned out to be the villain at the end, when all the other Bergens who like to catch all the trolls. And then, when all the other trolls are going back to black, and then when suddenly when Branch wants to sing True Colors with Poppy, and they like to give us a hug to come back to the colors.
And then when all the other trolls won't give up to come back to the troll village, when Poppy and Branch and all the others want to save the Bergen town and bring back the happiness. And then when Bridget founds the new hair back. And then when Poppy wants to sing Can't Stop the Feeling with Branch and all the others. And then when Chef Bergen wants to get rid of the trolls but can't, Chef Bergen and Creek leaves. And then soon as Creek and Chef Bergen got defeated, and then they like to sing a song called Can't Stop the Feeling. And then when Poppy is finally hug Branch, and then there's Cloud Guy finally hugs, and then that's a silly thing. And then when post credits, when Chef Bergen wants to eat Creek, but I can't, in the post credits, when that's the funny thing ever. So that's it for the plot. What do I heard of DreamWorks Trolls for 2016? Ah, yes, it is such an awesome film in my opinion. So, back then, in January 2016, when I was saw Kung Fu Panda 3 and 3D back in January 30th, 2016, they played the Trolls' very first trailer before the movie. I was like, hmm. I do not know why would DreamWorks fans will absolutely hate the film. But in May 2016, Can't Stop the Feeling was the new song in DreamWorks Trolls. And yeah, which Can't Stop the Feeling is awesome. And as for the new trailer, when Can't Stop the Feeling playing in the trailer in June 2016, all the other DreamWorks fans are now surprisingly excited about it. And then for the new final trailer, when True Colors playing in the trailer, that would be awesome. And then I saw the day I saw on November the 5th of 2016 in 3D here in Century Theaters 12 near Home Depot and GMC. And I have to say, I love it. And I buy it on Blu-ray and DVD on February 2017. And I give it a watch on March 2017 here in Bob Middle School at my West Texas area. And here in October 2017, here in Permian High School. And then I finally watch on March the 12th for 2020 here in Fulgerville High School. And then what do I heard of it? It's awesome! This can be my second favorite Mike Mitchell movie under the Lego Movie 2. The animation looks so awesome for a DreamWorks animated movie. The story? Very great. The characters we got. Poppy, the main character. She's so cute and adorable. And she's an awesome princess. She played the legendary Anna Kendrick. The same person who played the Pitch Perfect films. And... Here we have Branch, which is another main character. He's awesome. He played the legendary Justin Timberlake. This is one of the best Justin Timberlake performance I've ever had. My favorite character of the movie. And then we have DJ Suki. She's awesome. She played the legendary Gwen Stefani. And then we have Biggie. He is funny. He played the legendary James Gordon. And then we have Cooper. He's awesome. He played the legendary Ron Funches. And here we have Satin and Chenille. They are awesome. And here we have Fussbert. Fussbert is funny. And here we have Guy Diamond. Guy Diamond is awesome. And look at that nice auto-tune thing. And then here we have the rest of these trolls. The rest of these trolls look so awesome. And here we have Creek, played by the legendary Russell Brand. I like when Creek at the opening, he's being nice. And then when suddenly happens, is Creek turning to a villain at the end. And then we have King Peppy. He's nice, and he is an awesome character. 
And then we have Cloud Guy. Cloud Guy is so funny. He is so funny. He played the legendary Walt Dorn. And then here we have Smidge, which is another voice by Walt Dorn. That's awesome. And then here we have Chef Bergen. Chef Bergen is way better than Mr. Green from Norm of the North, in my opinion, and also Evelyn Dever from The Incredibles 2. And here we have Sire, which is King Gristle's dad. He's nice. He played the legendary John Cleese. And here we have King Gristle's dad. I mean, King Gristle, my bad. King Gristle. He's awesome. And here we have Queen Bridget. She is nice. The rest of these Bergens are so awesome. And all the other rest of the characters are really awesome, including the songs. The songs are awesome, including September Song. September Song is awesome at the opening. And what about hair up, put the hair in the air. That is awesome. And here we have move your hair. That is awesome. Move your hair song is awesome. And then we have get back up again. It's awesome. And here we have the rest of these songs look really awesome, including True Colors. True Colors is awesome. And then we can't stop the feeling. Can't Stop the Feeling is awesome. Definitely the best song from the movie. Can't Stop the Feeling is really awesome. And the rest of these are really good. The backgrounds look cool. The designs look really nice. And the bonding for a hugs is awesome. This movie is awesome. This is the very first introduce of the trolls universe it's toy story of the trolls universe and it's the incredibles of the trolls universe it's star wars episode 4 a new hope of the trolls universe it's dr no of the trolls universe and it's snow white and the seven dwarfs of the trolls universe wow trolls came out in 2016 can be the most famous dreamworks anime and movie can get and then it was produced originally made by 20th Century Fox International here in 2016. But now came a better way in America called Universal, I mean, Universal Pictures Home Entertainment. That is awesome. Do I have negatives? No, it is an awesome film. And I like the scene when, when Bridget had it take a date on a pizza place with King Grizzle and it played a summer place by Percy Faith. That is so remarkable. And then rest of these scenes are so funny, including the puns like, thank you for the biggest, loudest, and the craziest party ever. <laughs> that is so funny. If you are a fan of trolls, I suggest you should see the film in all costs. So the humors are so silly. So, that is awesome. I reviewed the first Trolls leading up to Trolls World Tour, which Trolls World Tour is going to be my newer favorite DreamWorks anime film, hopefully. And it's going to be my newer fourth favorite film of all time. Well, technically, overall, it gets a 10 out of 10. Amazing, brilliant masterpiece. And it definitely gets the seal of epic masterpiece. Wow. That is the longest video I've ever had. It's even longer than my Incredibles 2 movie review. So, hope you all enjoy, and goodbye.